this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! I think we came out of that orange door there. Let's head into the blue room over here, see what's inside. Better not be faces on the walls. Damn it! What is this place? I think we have to actually, I think we have to actually go in this room in order to proceed with the game. So. Whoa! Why are you speaking in PlayStation symbols? Or PlayStation controller symbols? Well, it is the PlayStation, but what's going on? Oh, they speak English. Huh. Okay, can you tell us where we can find our stones? Or, well, the Gullig stone at least. We don't have any stones, I'm afraid. Okay, we'll step on the platform. I'll just trust these perfect strangers. Why not? Hey, how's it going? You guys don't look to be doing so well. Oh, okay, so they're, I guess, well, they're talking about some ancient civilization. Okay. Oh. Oh, so they used to uh, call their civilization Terra. Okay. Sounds like a nice name. Now we call it Gaia, apparently, but, no, well, same difference. Huh? Well, apparently not. Again, most of this probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but we'll learn more about this eventually. Well, it seems like things are working out pretty well nowadays. Okay, so... What are you going to tell us about our, your civilization? You're not going to tell us, are you? No. No, not really. I don't know what their problem is. Huh. Well, I'm sure it's not important at all. They're just wasting our time. Let's just go and uh, find the stone. By the way, uh, something I forgot to mention in the last episode. The music here? Yeah, it's the same music from the intro. Or... Well, the new game screen or load game screen or whatever. I just never decided to show it. But there you go. That's where the music comes from. Uh, this would be a good time to uh, rearrange my abilities slightly. Mostly just get clear-headed at everyone and you'll be fine. Um, so I'm going to take a moment to do that and be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Just make sure to use some tents on everyone. You know, clear-headed on everyone. Uh, make sure to equip Master Thief on Zidane. Just so you know. What's going on here? Oh. Is that another planet? Or just an older view of our planet? It looks just like our planet. Huh. Or is it? Hmm. Is it a Final Fantasy V reference? Let's find out! What does this all mean? Well, we're not going to learn for a while, viewers. Oh yeah, one other thing. Uh, I've rearranged my accessories a little bit to better take advantage of ability points coming up here. We got the Reflect Ring on Amaranth, Rebirth Ring on Freya, Phoenix Pinion on Ico there. So just so you know, it would also be a good idea to teach Ico the mini spell. Whoa, holy crap! What's going on? Oh, just like an elevator. But yeah, make sure that Ico has learned the mini spell before you're done with this area. Just to keep that in mind, viewers. Oh, is that it? Okay. Wow, that was easy. Well, let's just take it and uh, head on back. All right. Huh? What'd you jump back for, Zidane? What's coming our way? Boss time! That's what's coming. What, you didn't think they were just gonna hand the stone over to us on a silver platter with without a boss fight, did you, viewers? Whoa! Some airship, or whatever the hell that thing is. All right, let's get him, guys. He's got some good stuff to steal. First things first, raise his win for, uh, uh, well, for healing, obviously, and steal from Ark. Ark is not a caring soul this time around, viewers. Just keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, raise his win, steal from him, throw wing edges at him, because, when you throw items, or, well, weapons, particularly wing edges, at an enemy that flies, it deals, like, a lot more damage. Wow! Look at that damage! Holy cow! 
This guy's got about 20,000 HP, so... Yeah, I couldn't get my voice high enough for that one. But, uh, yeah, he's got a lot of HP, so you gotta be careful with that. He has an attack. Ooh, Holy Lance! That's one of the items I want to get. I'd like to get one more, if I can. But, yeah, just keep on throwing wing edges at him. Make sure that you still got uh, auto-regen. Yeah, we still got it. We're good. I think we do. Eh, whatever. Ow! Uh, high Potion Amaranth immediately, or he will kill you! Well, let's see, one more Wing Edge, and then I'm going to hold off for uh, Zidane to steal one more item from this guy. Shouldn't be too hard. Or not. Do I really care about that other item? No. No, not really. If there is another Power Vest that I would have liked to get, because it's kind of hard to come by, but... Well, whatever. I'm not going to redo the boss fight just for that. So, But we do get another new item. The pumice piece. It's a very good item because it's an accessory that absorbs shadow elemental attacks. So that's really nice. Teaches a pretty unique ability. So what I want to do right now is I'll rearrange my equipment and abilities as I have listed in the video description. And I'll be right back. Okay, so let's just grab the stone. Now can we head on back? Wow, that's a pretty big stone. I wonder what he wants it for. I don't think they ever explain what he wants it for, now that I think about it. I'm dead serious, by the way. I, I have no idea what he wants it with it. And I've played this game a ton of times. I think if you don't have... If you... If you... Ha, didn't have... Well, if you didn't have Aiko with you, she'd be uh, the one... Or the person's perspective you'd be looking at right now. If I recall correctly. Well, yeah, absolutely. Even though, you know, you really don't have much of a kingdom left anymore, but, well, if it, you know, helps you sleep at night, there you go. What do you mean, sweets? Oh, well, thanks for, uh, uh-oh. Nuts. Why do I imagine, uh, Kuja's voice sounding like mid-boss? I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. For some reason, it seems like it suits him. <laughs> Oh no. Crap. Well, at least they, uh... Oh. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get halfway across the world in ten minutes. Oh, he said so He called us morons. Sorry, I went through that part of the dialogue too quickly. Uh, I don't think so, Steiner. Unless your, uh, armor is lava-proof. What, what, what what's going on? No. No, no, don't, don't try to save them, Sid. Don't try, no. Oh, what's going on with these guys? Number 69. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so immature. <laughs> no, it's perfectly all right to jeopardize the lives of, lives of millions of people, innocent people, just to save your own skin. Absolutely. Not. What trap? Huh. <laughs> Turn them all on. And thinking too hard. <laughs> now, now that's a clue. A clue for you, viewers. Not for me, for you. Just remember that for later. Now, unfortunately, I have to take control of Sid. And I can't enter a menu, but I'm going to take a pause break anyway to take a real deep breath. Okay, viewers, I'm about as ready as I'm going to be. I'm not ready, but... Oh, okay, we can't run away. Okay, well, we have to go into this other room. I have been dreading this moment since I began this LP. This might be the most annoying thing in Final Fantasy history next to dodging 200 lightning bolts. Now, what you gotta do here is press the circle button as Sid to move forward. But, if that hedgehog pie catches you, then you, yeah, yeah, you basically have to stand still when it's looking at you. So, press the circle button over and over and over again to get closer and closer to the key. Yeah, you see I screwed up there. So, we gotta start all over. Even if you're like five steps away from it, you still gotta do this, oh, you gotta start all over. So, just be careful and nuts! God damn it, I thought that guy was gonna turn around sooner or later. 
No, it's that one more try. You have unlimited tries, but you will run out of time eventually. So let's just uh, keep going then. Why are you even afraid of that guy? He's in the cage. Damn it, Sid. Okay, come on. Just a fair warning, viewers. If and when I actually succeed at getting the key, you may want to turn down your speakers or I will destroy them for you. Okay, we're about halfway there. Well, maybe not halfway, but I'm trying to think positive, viewers. There we go. Oh, stop. Turn around and look behind you! There you go. Okay, come on. Just be careful. Just a few steps at a time. Step by step. Inch by inch. Niagara Falls! I don't even know what I'm referencing there. Okay, come on. Almost got it. Don't need to be afraid of him, Sid. Be a man! Or a frog. Or a gecko. Okay, be real careful. Come on. I am making this look a lot easier than it actually is, viewers. Woohoo! I got the key! Woohoo! Oh, man. Oh, I made that look a lot easier than it is, viewers. Woo! Oh, man, that is so damn annoying. Oh, but I got it, I got it. Uh, oh, sorry, I need to examine the weights. Got the scales, and, well, we got these strange-looking weights here, but you have to look at the weights in order to, well, figure out what they're made out of, and in order to, uh, well, have access to them. So you, you basically have to do this part. So, there we go. Okay, so we got wood, clay, stone, and iron. Okay, so we know what the weights are made of, but what do I do with them? Is Sid smart enough to figure it out? Can we save our friends in time? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!